Why do pipe liners wear these pancake hoods instead of these or a flip hood or any other flip hood? Why do we wear these pancakes? Well, I'm gonna answer that question for y'all today. But before we get started, at the end of this video, I'm gonna share with you my list of essential tools to get started as a rig welder. Tools are cool, but aren't all necessary right whenever you get started. So stay tuned for that. Also, don't forget to subscribe and ring the bell to get notified when I post a new video. Ringing the bell is the only way you for sure get notified when I post a new video. I post new videos every Friday, so make sure and check back then if you don't turn on your notifications. All right, so I've been a pipeline welder for longer than I've been any other type of welder. I've used all kinds of different hoods for different applications, if you will. But let's get you some answers to why I use a pancake hood for pipeline. So the biggest reason pipeliners use pancake hoods is because of the way this box cups your face. Put it on and show y'all. Y'all don't be making fun of my bald spots here. Looks like the golden arch. No, but look, see it's like a, it's like goggles. It's like a snorkel goggles. It cups around your eyes. See, it fits right up Whenever you first get a pancake, you have the opportunity to fit this to your face. If you haven't seen my video of how to sand a pancake, we'll link it in the description or put it in one of these corners. Um, I show you tips and tricks on how to, how to fit your pancake to your face. But this pancake is designed to fit right up against your face, therefore you don't get the backlight. The backlight is the biggest reason why we use pancakes. As pipeline welders, we work outside, you know. You get some jobs where you're doing fabrication inside and whatnot. Even inside, if the lights are bright in the shop, coming in behind your hood, like in a sugar scoop, it comes in right here, and it hits your lens. And all you see is a reflection of yourself sometimes, so it's kind of a pain. Well, with pancake, it does away with all that. You can't, you don't get no backlight back here. So that is probably the number one reason that we use a pancake hood. But another reason I like it is because of the protection of your eyes. Because it's all the way up against your eyes, just like snorkel goggles, it keeps out sparks like while, while your helper's grinding or whatever, or even if you gotta grind, it's better protection over your eyes. Now you can wear Tom Waters under your pancake, Tom Water glasses. Those of you that need glasses, you might be interested in some Tom Water glasses. I wear them from time to time. You can get on Tom Waters website and get you a set of Tom Waters to fit underneath your pancake if you need prescriptions. But it's specifically made for pipe welding. That's why there's only one, one side to a pancake because you're always doing this number, right? Now, if you're working in like a plant or a station or something, you might find yourself needing to weld left-handed or right-handed. A lot of times I'll just turn my welding cap the opposite way and put it over my ear and still use my pancake if I need to weld left-handed. But that's one of the disadvantages of using a pancake. That's why I always carry my sugar scoop in my truck. For one, I like sugar scoop for structural stuff just because it's it seems to be like faster or whatever, I guess, you know, I don't really know. But, but what I like about it is you can weld left-handed or right-handed and it's going to protect you. A lot, of, a lot of pipeliners still use these right here, these sugar scoops, you know, it's just, it's all personal preference. But another reason is because laying pipe, like on, on the front end when you're laying pipe all day or when you're welding all day, on a good busy pipeline job, you're gonna be welding all day long and your hood's gonna be on your head all day. And this hood here weighs about 10 and a half ounces or so. It's a lot lighter, right? As to where this hood here, is 16 ounces or something like that it's just a little heavier right so when you're welding all day long this is a lot nicer to have on your head because it's a lot lighter weight now not all pancakes are lightweight but they're they're starting to come out with lightweight pancakes uh cmr is one that just come or he didn't just come out with it but i just posted a video about it and uh it's a lightweight pancake if y'all are interested it's about i think it's about 10 ounces also but anyway Lightweight is another reason. Another reason I personally like to use a pancake hood is for during the winter time, you can wear your hood, your hood with your hood, if you will. See, it goes up in between this flap and you can take your pancake up and down, but your hood stays on all the time. As to where the sugar scoop, y'all better not be talking about my bald spot. Sugar scoop, there ain't no good way to, ain't no good way to keep the hood on. I mean, I've seen some guys put them up underneath like this. So I mean, that works. You can do that, but that's another big reason I like using a pancake hood. 
there's not much else to it that I that I know of, you know. But I do know one thing. After using a, a flip hood for several several years before I ever switched to a pancake, after I used the pancake, it was hard to go back to the sugar scoop. Now I've done it long enough where I, I like using both depending on what I'm working on. You know, if I'm working in my shop, you know, I might use this. It it kind of not really. I'll use I'll use a pancake in a shop too, but it don't really matter. But uh, structural and pipeline that's kind of the way I look at it. But anyway. Anyway, 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 that's the main reason we use pancake hoods. Very commonly asked question, and I'm glad you guys asked, and I'm glad that we could answer your question. Let me know in the comments, what type of welding hood is your favorite to weld with? All right, I think that's gonna be it. That list of essential tools is in the top link of the description if you need them. All you have to do is leave me your name and email, and I'll email it over to you along with loads of other helpful things in the coming weeks. Like this video if you liked it. Subscribe and ring the bell to get notified when I post a new video every Friday. My advice or tip for this week is be educated. Do your research. Don't just do something or wear something just because someone else is. Have meaning for the things that you do. Make intentional decisions. It's a good way to live. Thank you all for watching. Remember, learn something every day and we will see you next Friday.